Myself and Harold looked on a map and we saw a town called Mirovka and we said, let's jump in the car and go to Mirovka. We don't know what it's there. We don't know what it's like there. And then we found out you've got to travel via the ro worst road in Ukraine. And this is it. Adventure time. Adventure upon. I mean, crikey, this road is like, I don't know. Is this Europe or is this Bangladesh? Sorry, Bangladeshi subscribers, but this is how I imagine your roads. Do you have Bangladeshi subscribers? One or two who hate me for something. Hey guys. <laughs> for How's it going down there? Trust me, you don't want them. Oh, don't encourage okay, them. Okay, okay. I don't want them. Check this out. Wow. My God. The road of death. Ukraine. Road of death. Look at these pop holes. Oh, big one. Whoa. А почему дорога такой? Почему такой дорога? Да! Я никогда не видел такой плохо дорога в Европе. Сейчас я скажу. В, Ев в Европе воруют, нет? О! А... а здесь 30 лет разворовывают краину. О! Так? Они так. Только воруют, а делать ничего не делают. Вайперс! Everywhere. Viper country, I've got. I've discovered there's a lot of snakes in Ukraine. You've got to be careful. Viper country. Are you going to monetize my leak yet again? Uh, Second time? Uh, uh, there's Harold Balder, the famous Harold Balder. The famous Harold. Going for at least running off. He's going, oh, he's going for a poo. He's going, no, he's going for an investigation of this Ukrainian tweet off. What the hell's gotten into Harold? He's gone absolutely mental. He's climbing a tree. Whilst you've been sleeping. The road has shaken Harold's brain around so much that he just randomly run up a tree. Is it wrong of me to say I'd like him to fall off for the content? Aye. Harold's trying to flex saying that Norway's roads are even worse uh, than this, which is impossible. Harold, why are you saying these silly things? Well, I'm sure you have a ton of Norwegian subscribers, probably more than me. Uh, so let him hear it in the comments section. What do you think about roads in Norway? In the horizon, on the horizon, I see Mironivka. Here's the sign to Mironivka. Check it out. Mironivka, there. Mironivka. We made it to Mironivka in one piece, which, considering that road, is no mean feat. Right, let's go and see what the delights of Mironivka have in store for us. We are in the provinces, in a bus station in the provinces. Look at this place, look at this lovely Soviet bus station. I don't know where we are. Как называется ваш город? Как называется ваш город? We're in a place called Mirovin or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. Let's go and see inside the bus station if we can buy a ticket to Kiev. Is that a Kiev bus? Oh, let's see what it's like inside here. This is going to be quite something. Look at these Soviet chairs. This is probably the most Soviet, we will do, but this is probably the most Soviet bus station I've ever been in. Okay, let's investigate the seats. Give it a comfort, were Soviet seats comfortable or not? Well, give me a minute, the verdict, the jury is still out on this one, hold on. Can you you look, you look comfortable, you look relaxed. I approve. It's you right. approve? Yeah. There you go. If Mr. Boulder approves, it's okay. Let's try and buy a ticket to Kiev. Here, you can do a manicure in the toilet. I like it. When was the last time you had a manicure? Goa Beach. Yes. One of the best ones ever. The only one ever. The greatest manicure in the world. Oh, up here's a sign of all the places you can go to. Mirinovki up to Kiev via Kagalik and Lipovets. Wow, check that out. 
А что, информация? Да. У пол... Куда вам? На Кане в Ченнахе. Киев, Киев, Киев. У 5 и 5.30. 5 и 5.30. Да. А можно купить билет от Водитель. водителя? У водителя. Спасибо. Еще одну час. 5 and 5.30. Yep, 5 and 5.30. Yes, we have an hour to contemplate oh. this bus station. Well, there's the greatest pub ever. Okay, let's investigate. One hour, you speak English. Why? Where are you going? Skuda! Kiev? Jalka. Хорошо. I don't think we can vlog She's coming uh, back. Music. She's coming back to meet me for a date. I'm buying beers for her. Okay. Oh, the tube? Vernoules. The are not sweet. Not a fever. Ah, what do you mean? Конечно, надо. Почему нет? Oh, oh. As you can see, this uh, these hair pods have seen better days. A lot of shops they look like this. They're either for rent or they're for sale, abandoned. And uh, no prospective tenants in line. You get in the room, you too? Yeah. Here. Wow, спасибо. Ну, понятно. А где ваш молодой человек? Почему одна путешествует? Я не путешествую. I am going to work. What? What? She speaks English. What is your name? My name is Senya. Senya? My name is Benjamin. And this is Harold. I see that you're making a move with your eyes. I'm being blown out. I feel like a gooseberry here. Silence. You two have got eye contact going on. Stop trying to railroad my approach. Unbelievable. Он хочет найти жена. Ви город где это? Да ему совет, как можно найти жену. Лучше не будет. Почему? Что самый хороший способ найти жену? Тебя привлекают украинские девушки. What attracts you to Ukrainian women? The fact that we're making a video or we're struggling for topics of conversation. So uh, me getting married oh, seemed like a funny joke. Um, um, uh, I think they're The fact that they like Rebo. I like a good woman who like a Rebo. I don't respect. think she knows what silence. that is. There is respect. silence. There is silence. Respect. She said station. respect. All right. Yeah. Respect. Did you ever feel like a gooseberry? <laughs> like you sit down thinking you're going to get the girl and then your friend just steals her in front of your eyes? That's how I feel right now. Unbelievable. Harold just had the devastating news that his lady friend is married. <laughs> Are you not smoking? I know smoking. No, no. But you smoke. No problem. How do you I'm feel sorry. that... No, why? Okay. Oh, it's going to be a, be a rough uh, bus journey. I mean, I was really counting on, you know, taking this further. I thought now that I had, you know, the wife hunt was over and as a Swiss man from uh, um, Geneva, thought that this would be it for me. But I guess the hunt we continues. To, we have to, the wife hunt must continue. The provincial wife hunt tour continues. Want to try some Georgian man food? Me too. Let's go and eat some harcho beef soup. Elinchik? Yes. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> no. Let me shout out to me. We've been told that the best harcho in Georgia is in a little Soviet cafe around the corner. Let's go in there, see if we can film, try some food. Let's do it. Говори, что самый лучший харчо в Грузии. Да. Спасибо за это. Спасибо за Пожалуйста. Можно, пожалуйста, попробовать харчо два, хлеб и лимонад и все. Это все. Харчо из Англии. 
Италия. Англия. 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 И девушки из Беларуси. Хорошо, спасибо. Да? Ой, спасибо. Вот как Вау. можно заплатить. Вау. Давай, Красивый. вот подачу. А вот. что там по харчо? Что Это, там в принципе? В принципе там что? Первый раз по кускам рыза, мясо, мясо говядина. говядина. Окей. На килограмм много. Да. Допустим, сколько вам? Хотите, наверное, по рисам. Понятно. Пускай. И рис тоже, я думаю, а, что да. там. И там рис. Потом парина туда. Наливать чуть-чуть водички и будут это, меньше, чуть-чуть варить. А потом добавляем мука, это, лук, резим луку, сюда добавляем масло туда. И будем чуть-чуть жарить там. Понятно. Потом, например, возьмем томатный пасту, вот такой. Ага. Вот такой пасту. Понятно. Secret ingredients. А, а, ага. Туда еще, там. Ага. И потом опять будем мешать и добавляем водички, сколько вам хотите. Добавляем зелень. У вас нету, а у нас есть, конечно, разные зелень, по-нашему говорят. И сюда тоже. Да, да, да. И чуть-чуть. А, горки перец, чуть-чуть. Понятно, Или понятно. Горчич. Вау. И так много надо делать для харчо. И это все будет варить. Понял. И возьмем чуть-чуть рис и добавляем сюда. Спасибо. Спасибо большое. А как? Спасибо ваш язык. Спасибо как ваш Мадлова, язык. Мадлова, Мадлова. Мадлова. Georgia is situated in the Caucasus Mountains, which is a pretty rough and tough environment. And so the farmers up on the high plains of the mountains, they develop beef soup called kharcho, which is a mixture of rices and spices and this lumps of, big lumps of beef, as you can see here. All right, let's tuck in. All right, we've just been given by this lovely owner of the cafe a huge bowl of Georgian wine. So I think we can put the old lemonade away and we can pour ourselves a glass of wine to have with our heart show. Let's get drunk. All right, what the best thing about this soup is, is just how tender the meat is. We don't need a knife or fork or anything like that. You put your spoon in, just do that gently, and a big lump of gorgeous beef. I mean, it never works when you try and do it on film, but anyway, a big lump of gorgeous beef just comes off. Look at that. Come and zoom in on this, Lynchick. That is heart chop. Well, your first taste of, wow, you rip that bread like a champion. Your first taste of kharcho. What do you think? Like it? Okay, it's a little bit oily. Okay. I mean, uh, too much beef. Too much beef? So okay. it's kind of like uh, too, ma too manly for me. Too manly. Would you have it again? Um, yes. That was a kind of very hesitant, um, yes, I think I should say that because we're on film, but really, I'm never eating it again. <laughs> no, 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 it's tasty. You like it, yeah? yeah? Okay, good. All right, then. Let's chat, let's start eating. Let's okay. do it. You know it's good soup when you have a big bone in it. They call that marrow. Guys, when you eat harcho, you eat it really like an animal. Look at our table. Like I said, man food. All right, I'm going to tell you a little anecdote um, before we leave. And that is that um, many years ago in the Rugby World Cup, New Zealand were going to play against Georgia. Georgia, a small team. New Zealand, the greatest rugby team ever. And I remember a journalist went to the captain of the Georgian rugby team and said, are you not afraid that you're going to be facing the All Blacks? This could be a war. And the Georgian captain turned to the journalist and he said, my friend, 
My country has been at war for 2,000 years. This is nothing for us. And that is why they invented Khadshaw. Uh, when it's time to laugh. It wasn't meant to be a funny anecdote. Oh, God. <laughs> to Khadshaw Sue, the man food of the Caucasus, and to Georgia itself. Lovely people, very generous. Recommend everyone comes here and try their food. Let's do it. Thank you. Soviet calculator. Thank you. 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 Не, у нас уже не надо. Спасибо, мы не будем. Ах, мы пили парсик, Эрик, мы пили парсик. Окей, спасибо. Спасибо, до свидания. Ирак, Захарча. Morning, guys, from a top secret Soviet location deep in the Ukraine. I'm here with my friend Harold. Good morning. The German and listen recently you may remember i tried climbing a soviet tower and i failed pussy um the thing was i was actually a bit of a pussy i'm scared of heights it was rusty and so i said to harold because he likes climbing let's go and find something else well we discovered this abandoned soviet shipyard full of these mega bloody soviet constructed cranes and now i'm going to redeem myself and so Harold we'll doesn't see about that. We'll see. So Harold doesn't think I'm a pussy, and so YouTube doesn't think I'm a pussy. Unfortunately, we've got no vodka. But anyway, we can try and do it sober. You ready to climb a tower? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. I was born ready. Let's climb a Soviet ready. crane. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's hope we don't get caught. Now we're in, as I said. Although it's abandoned, there is a guard house here that we snuck past by going through the bushes. So um, hopefully the guard doesn't see us. Man, oh man, we're actually, Harold says he wants to go all the way through the cobweb. Wait there, there's a cobweb here. Harold wants to go all the way to the very I'm top. Going the I am going all the way. He's going all the way to the very top, he said. Oh man. Wow, man, look at the state of this. This is a huge thing. So here in the town of Cherkasi is where the, this port is. And you can see here just the size of this bloody thing that there's all bits and bolts lying about that once may have been integral but now not so much these cranes remind me of something that there's another one over there they remind me of something out of like war of the worlds or something some kind of like space monsters that come to earth they're just so friggin' huge man am i allowed to talk you can talk when i give you permission to talk you can talk now for three seconds all right well careful up here mate well is this the it's almost like we're running, ruining someone's meth lab. Oh, what do you reckon? I reckon this calls for a Harold Investigates on Bolt's channel. Abandoned meth lab in Ukraine. I'm not gonna, no. We can go in here on the way down. Sure. Uh, you wanna go first? Uh, do you wanna film me? Okay. So on then. Film me going up this ladder heroically without any fear. Kind of. Okay, my money is on this is about as far as he's gonna go before he starts freaking out. You have no idea the lengths I had to go to in order to entice him to Hey, hey I'm just having a little one-on-one -on -one with the cat. Hey, you're ruining my monologue. Don't listen to him. You're ruining my monologue. <laughs> Silence. God is it. We're up again, this one straight up. Continue? There's no, yeah, there's no other way. Oof. I'm already nervous about the height. Well, no one's yelled at us yet, so. Oh man, I keep banging my knees. <laughs> I've banged my knees twice. Do it again. But, yeah, I take it. Yeah, cheers. It's not used to being 51 and climbing these towers now, is it? I wouldn't know. Here's the Dnieper River, while we're at it, having a look. 
So before this was a port, obviously, in Soviet times, and then they shifted goods from the port onto the boats, and they were sailed down to Odessa or wherever, I don't know, different towns down south on the Dnieper River. Stop mumbling on about things you know nothing wow. about. Wow. Jesus, <laughs> you're right up there. One-handed. It's right for you. Ah, oh. oh, man. Are any of you guys scared of heights? How would you be feeling now if you were climbing this rusty old crane? Knowing that you're only about half the way up. Oh man. Oh. oh. Alright. No time to stop. Wait there. Doing this like kind of one-handed with the camera in one hand, which means I can only use two fingers on the camera hand to hold on. Whew. Wait there. Oh man. Wow, there's a there's a bird's nest here. Without high, we've got a stork's nest or something here. Check this out. I'll show you. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. A Soviet bird's nest. There you go. Made by a Soviet bird, I expect. Let's do it. Next stretch of the ladder to the very top, the final part. Here we go. If you fall, don't fall on me, please. I'm not going to fall. If you start having a panic attack. Speak for yourself. Whoa. If I had vodka now, I'd be okay. It's the fact that I've got no vodka. Otherwise, I'd be okay. Whoa, man. The Soviet crane climb. Yeah. Woo wee. Admittedly, it's a little higher than I thought. Oof, man, is it rocking? Yeah. Oh, man, the thing's swaying. Oh, I'm on a swinging Soviet crane. I can't go on. <laughs> I can't go on. I can't go on. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, man. When I started YouTube videos, I wanted to do food and things like that. Sit in a nice restaurant like Mark yeah, Wien's. Stop lying. I, can hear you. <sighs> I could have been sitting in a nice cafe somewhere saying, wow, you've got to try this sushi, it's amazing. Instead, I'm shitting myself a hundred meters in the air on a Soviet abandoned crane. Oh, my God. Oh, God. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm just so scared right now. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. <laughs> and I've got a chest infection. Oh, man. All right. Come on. Let's do it. No more pissing around. Yeah, but it's hard with one hand. All right. Just don't look down. Close your eyes. I'm going to close my eyes and do it. Can you see the, you see the camera? Yeah. A couple more steps. No, can't reach it. No, can't reach it. Still so far. Harold, take it. <laughs> take it, I'm clinging on for dear life. You're shaking. I'm shaking my feet. Uh. And wind. Uh. It does um, oh. swing quite a bit up here, though. It's swaying. It's, yeah. What's wrong with you, you pussy? Are we going all the way up? What? Why is that even a question? Okay, continue then. Oh. 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 Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here. You filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Don't yeah. miss my heroic moment of reaching the top, fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, mate. <laughs> heroic moment, my ass. <laughs> I'm like, you're like Tenzig and I'm like Hillary. Okay. Who? Tenzig? Sherpa Tenzig. Knows nothing about oh, politics. All right, last stretch here, guys. And we'll oh, be. Like I know, I feel it. I'm just worried about my Tuscaloosa, Alabama roll tide hat flying off. I might have to dive down here. And as you can see, 
gonna be quite a dive. Come on, Sherpa Tenzig, get up here. Who is Sherpa Tenzig? The second man to climb Everest. Right, you need to walk a bit steady. Well, guys, right, here's our thumb. We've made it to the top of the tallest crane in, well, Chakassi. Check, no, no, and then don't film that tower over there. That's a tower, not a crane. <laughs> We're okay. Wow, fuck. Look, this is Actually, the view from We are above the, uh, the other cranes. Okay, wait there, but I, I can't so. believe we actually made it up here without being screamed at. So I can't believe we made it up here without shitting myself. Okay, oh, you're not. There. That's the town. That's the beautiful town of Chikasi. If anyone wants to come on a beautiful Soviet holiday, come to Chikasi. It's full of cranes and really other film the shit. I'm going to film part of it. Yes. Okay. Well, Should that we was make it, a, guys. A break for it before. Yeah, wait before there. The cavalry one, arrives. One secondo. I was just going to say. I think until we've stood on the top rung here. We haven't quite claimed that we've climbed the tower. You feel all right? Yeah. Here's your thumb. Right there. Oh, man. Touched it. All right, let's do our thumb. Thumbnail, the most important thing of the thing. Without the thumb, you don't get views on the videos. Right so. Let me in the thumb look a bit more heroic than I actually was on the way up. Let me look so I was nothing. The one looking out over there. Whoa. So the question is, would you climb a Soviet abandoned crane in Cherkasy? Oof. Harold would and I would. All right, let's get back down without getting caught and make our escape. Wow. Okay. Did it! We survived. Nice one. Well done. Whew. Well, that was a Soviet, abandoned Soviet lift climb with a chest infection. <coughs> we still made it. Well done. All right then. I thought you were going to check it out before you got to the top. But... There was a point, I must say, when I was that bit going up to the very top, where I was like, wait there, maybe I just won't do it. The pressure of the golden play button was on and you couldn't give up now. If Harold wasn't with me and wasn't going to like make me look bad by him doing it and me bottling out, I wouldn't have gone any further. I would have been like, you know what, that's far enough. Okay, but, um... next challenge. <coughs> there. The Tower of Certain death. <laughs> yeah. Let's go for if it. I struggled on this one, there's no chance I'm doing that one. Guys, thank you for joining us. Bye bye from Harold. Auf Wiedersehen. Subscribe to Harold Balder channel if you don't know him. I'm sure you do. Greatest and, German um, YouTuber. Greatest German YouTuber apparently. And um, goodbye from me. Until next time. Das Vidania, everybody.